my shoot right now. Um, I'm very excited. I am shooting with an awesome designer. Uh, I can't really give the information just yet, but it's just going to be a fun little test shoot. Um, so, uh, what you guys are seeing here are sunspots. So, this solar telescope, um, in order to actually like look at the sun, um, you need, first of all, a certain size of telescope, but also you need like a solar filter on top of it. As you guys all know, because of the eclipse, we need the glass and girls will go blind. So, um, on top of this telescope is a solar filter. Um, it's probably an H alpha filter I spoke about once, which is hydrogen alpha filter, which um, pretty much like filters out the a certain type of um, wavelength, a certain brightness uh, that is transmitted from the sun towards us, so we don't actually go blind. It actually kind of bounces off. Uh, it, well, it filters out, so it absorbs and bounces a whole bunch of um, the the light rays that we actually, so our eyeballs don't absorb it itself. So anyway, um, so <laughs> the solar filter, or sorry, the, the sunspot itself, that little like black dot there, if you guys can see, I tried to bring this as close as I could without it reflecting the light. Um, that's like 3,700 degrees Kelvin, which is like 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like really, really hot. But it's actually a cooler region compared to the rest of the sun because the rest of the sun is like 10,000 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So it's like really, 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 really hot, the sun generally. But in these areas where it's dark, which is the sunspot, it's actually a lot cooler. So what's going on there is there's like this buildup of um, electromagnetism. So the sun from, um, you know, just being really hot, spinning really fast, and um, nuclear fusion going on, it's uh, causing electrons to get extremely excited um, inside of it. And so when the electrons start to get really, really excited, they start to generate um, an, an electric field, so an electromagnetic pulse. And a lot of times it starts to kind of have these like little spots, these, these uh, collected areas that are like really like just crazy. Um, lots and lots of energy and what starts to happen sometimes is um, they will release they will literally explode and they will release something known as a prominence or a solar flare um, and those tend to just be um, like really bright hot regions that kind of come out and whirl a little bit it, it looks it looks kind of crazy um, and then sometimes an, a, a coronal mass ejection will happen and a coronal mass ejection is a release of like actual physical plasma. So um, that's a little bit different. That's more like the outer regions of the sun. Um, closer, it's it's literally coronal mass ejection because it's the mass of the corona, um, and then it's literally ejecting out. So that's what that's it's like physical matter. It's like the actual um, plasma that's exploding outward, um, which is insane. But solar flares and prominences. Um, they actually usually, like I said, will erupt from like sunspots, which is like super cool. Well, wait, okay, so I stopped the video, but I want to start it again because look at this. So, what's passing in front are probably just clouds in our atmosphere because we are viewing this from a ground telescope. I believe this is the Canary Telescope. Wait, hold on, I need to like uncurl my hair for a second so I don't burn my my leg. Um, this is, yeah, this is the Canary Islands. So this is literally like clouds that are in the Canary Islands right now. How crazy is that? Alright, bye guys.